What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. That's right, you guys asked and I listened. I'm creating another 15 minute full body fat burning workout that you guys can do at home. You don't need a gym membership, it requires no equipment at all and it's completely based around your body weight, which I find gives me the best results and I feel like I break a sweat really, really easily. Like I said, it's only 15 minutes, so if you have a really busy schedule or you're short on time, definitely throw this into your week and this is the perfect workout to burn the most amount of fat in the shortest amount of time. So I have done these videos before, but if you are new to my channel, basically there are two circuits. In each circuit, there are four exercises. You repeat each exercise one after the other for 30 seconds, and then you have a 30 seconds break. You repeat each circuit three times. If you're confused, don't stress out. It is a real time workout, so I'll be doing the entire thing with you. So in my previous videos, I've just got stuck straight into the workouts, but I think I'm gonna go through the eight exercises first, so you have a rough idea of what's to come, and then we'll get stuck into the workout. I have created a timer app. It's called the Sezi Timer app, and it basically links with my ebook. However, there's another tab on the timer that says 50 15 minute fat burner and a lot of people have been really confused about what that's all about because it doesn't actually link with the ebook. I purposely put this little tab into the timer app so you guys can do your own workouts at home. So if you don't have my ebook that's okay, you can just do a workout like this and use this timer app instead of having to like mess around with your own timer because I hate setting timers, it's such a waste of time. If I say time again, I'm gonna die. Exercise number one is high knees then chest to the floor. You're going to do 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then chest to the floor. Chest, and back up, and repeat. That's your first exercise. Your second exercise are star crunches. You may wanna get a towel or a yoga mat for this. Just make sure it doesn't hurt your spine, or if you're on carpet, don't get carpet burn. I used to do that all the time. So lying down on your back, Legs go out wide like a star. As legs come in together, you crunch up towards your legs. So out and up. As you raise up into that crunch, make sure your belly button is towards your spine. So you wanna suck your belly button towards your spine in every single ab exercise. If you push out, that is going to create that sort of tortoiseshell ab look. I like to go for more of the flat sort of ballerina ab look. So make sure you squeeze your belly button towards your spine. Your third exercise is mountain climbers and a jack push up. So you're going to do eight mountain climbers. So knees towards your chest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a jack push up, you jump your feet out with each push up. So you might want to adjust your hands a little bit wider, jump your feet out and push up back together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and jump out and back together. And your fourth exercise is a crowd favorite. I pretty much do this exercise in all of my workouts because I feel like it's the one thing that really helps lean out my entire legs, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, and the booty. And they are in and out squat pulses. So one, two, three, out, two, three. So this inner squat is really targeting your inner thighs and this outer squat, the sumo squat, is targeting the booty. Exercise one for circuit two of plank toe taps. You can either go in a high plank like this or a low plank, this is a little bit more difficult, and you're going to tap your legs. With each toe tap, try to keep your body as still as possible, and don't roll and rotate your torso, try to stay still like a lock. Exercise number two, you're going to stay down, and you're going to do plank in and out. So legs jump up towards your hands, jump back into a plank. Up towards your hands, back into a plank. Exercise number three are 180 squat jumps. These may look easy, but these are going to burn. So facing one way jump squat, Face the other way. Continuously going until the timer goes off. This one burns. Then your final exercise of the whole workout are cross body crab kicks. So you're going to go up sort of like in a reverse tabletop position, getting your hips as high as you can, sucking your belly button towards your spine, stay nice and strong, and tapping the alternate leg with the alternate arm. So left leg and right arm, right arm and left leg. Don't sag down and don't end up sitting down because then you're really doing nothing. Stay as high as you can throughout the whole exercise. So like I said, if you're confused, don't worry. This is a real time workout. I'm about to do it all with you. So go and get in your gym gear, get your water bottle, get a mat, get ready to go because things are about to get sweaty. All right. All right guys, five seconds. It's high knees and chest to the floor. Exercise one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chest to the floor. Chest all the way up. Make sure the knees are nice and high. Try to get them all the way up to your chest. Remember, it's 
tuck your belly button towards your spine. Legs out, all the way up. As you come up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep your legs nice and strong. Don't bend them. Keep your whole body engaged. Your stomach, strengthen your legs, 
keep your legs strong, don't let them go wobbly. Keep everything strong. And your hands behind your neck up, pushing your neck up, it's just there to support your neck. So make sure you're not using your hands, it's just there for support. Rolling over, mountain climbers jump up.
Get ready for your shoulders to burn. silence for my hair I washed it before I came here hashtag error okay I'll see you in my next video bye